My name's Tom Gilbert. Um, I, uh, I live in Chiswick. I've lived in Chiswick, uh, well at the moment it's only been for about 12 months, but this is my third time living on Boardfield Drive, so um, collectively probably looking at about eight or nine years on, on that same street in Chiswick. But I've moved next door to uh, the, the block of units that I moved out of when I, uh, when I was living in Boardfield Drive last, um, but that place was next door to the place I'd lived in previously and I'd actually lived in that same unit twice, um, two different instances. I say coincidental, I guess it was the cheapest rent. Uh, I, I had a very low budget and, uh, and the same place came up for rent. I think the difference was five dollars and uh, in rent and when I went back to check it out I realised that uh, I'd never moved my washing machine out of the unit and it was still in there. And the real estate agent actually uh, was advertising it as an added feature. And I actually reminded him it was mine. He was the same property manager and he'd forgotten me. And uh, he said, oh, if it's yours, I'll knock five bucks off the rent. So, uh, so it went back to being the same price as when I moved out anyway. Yeah. I, I would definitely say I, I love it because it's, um, yeah, well, very quiet. I guess, well, for me, it's the convenience more than anything else. The convenience and I suppose the price. I mean, the price is right for, uh, for living absolute waterfront. I mean, it's gorgeous, and nice and peaceful. I didn't know that much about it. And from what I've pieced together, I've pieced together from kind of people in the area and believe it or not cab drivers in a lot of cases yeah. cab drivers because when they drop you home um, some of them haven't been to the area in a very long time I mean this it's not a thoroughfare it doesn't go anywhere so not too many people go down there I mean I lived in Boone Avenue and in, um, in Russell Lee for many years and never never went down to uh, Chiswick at all um, just didn't even know it was there it was only when a mate moved in there that um, I went and visited Chiswick, in terms of the, the, the community aspect, I, I find people a lot more friendly. Um, I think maybe it was the block of units I lived in over in Abbotsford. Um, I think there had been a lot of people kind of move in there and expect it to be like a retirement village. So any noise whatsoever, um, they, they kind of didn't like. I think I got complaints about coughing when I had, uh, when I had a cough one time. And uh, yeah. I had a letter in the letterbox about how loud I was coughing. Yeah. So yeah, interesting. But um, but in Chiswick, people are great. People are really really friendly. Um, always have been, I guess. I remember living in number uh, number nine one time. I heard some screaming one time, and I looked out, and um, a whole bunch of uh, uh, rowers had been caught under the middle section of the catamaran. <laughs> And, uh, the ferry driver stopped it, but I could hear all the blokes being stuck under there, yelling as they were trying to push their way out. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. yeah, and then I, there was another time where I got moored on a sandbar, and uh, they were everybody was stuck on there, and they had to send out a, a rescue ferry to go and pile everybody off. But uh, but yeah, it's always something happening. I suppose the only complaint I ever had in the area was when we live a little bit close to the water than I do now, and um, the 6 a.m. rowers when uh, uh, from the uh, the GPS schools they all row up the uh, the river, and it's not so much the rowers, it's um, the coach who goes alongside in the outboard motor with the megaphone yelling at them. <laughs> the last thing you're expecting, yeah, it's 6 a.m. with a hangover. <laughs> well, I suppose it's conditioned me to sleep through pretty much anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think eventually when we have a, a, a family, we're going to have to move somewhere uh, bigger. Plus, if I want that dog, I'm going to need a backyard too. Yeah. And I don't think I'm rich enough to buy, uh, buy a house in Chiswick, so it's, um, yeah, it's the kind of thing that eventually I guess I will have to yeah, move somewhere else, maybe Concord. Oh, well see, this is the thing, I don't want to say all the great things about Chiswick because I like it with just us there. I mean, it's hard, you know, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to say all of the great things about Chiswick because um, it'll fill up with more people. And, uh, <laughs>